Hello everybody, this is Bryce Kendrick with Forest Turbos. How are you today? Wanted to go through and show you how to manipulate the map inside your G3 fuel controller and how to make changes um, so you can run the correct AFRs. First off, you're going to hook your USB cable from your computer to your fuel controller and you're going to connect to that to the box by going to the USB icon and turning it on. Once you do that, you will see that it will turn on down here at the bottom and say that it's ready to go. Your fuel controller should show a blinking red light inside the fuel controller where the map, where you would plug in the USB cord. Then, what you'll need to do is make sure that you have your XDF file and your ADX file loaded up. After that, you'll go in and you'll select the correct bin or map that you need for the snowmobile that you are um, working on and you do that by clicking on file open bin find it in your folder we're going to use show test map here hit open go to mapping US units driver 1 pulse with table A and what this is, is this is your map. Um, this is boost level on this side, and it's RPM on the top. So you can click in any of these cells, and it will show you the true pulse width of injector time that you are running on an injector. So right here, we're at 6,000 RPMs and five pounds of boost, and we're running 5.63 milliseconds of time through the, set it, through the secondary injectors to get the fueling that we need. Um, let's do one more. So let's just come to here. So we're running nine pounds of boost and 9,000 RPMs. We're putting 10.11 milliseconds of fuel inside that cell. And what will happen is depending on what RPM or boost level you're running is the cell that you will grab. Okay, I'm going to show you how to manipulate this map. So I'm going to do that over here in these areas where there's no um, numbers in there and we are going to make some changes. So first off, you can click in any number you want, or any cell you want, and you can add a number. Okay, and the number will turn red when you've made the change. Okay, or you can grab in a, in a cell, and you can hold your shift button down on your keyboard, arrow to the right, and arrow down, and grab a series of cells at one time. After you have done this, what you'll do is you'll go up here to the top, in these function keys. Now these function keys have a lot of different options that you can use. We're gonna fill this with a value of three. Hit execute, and now all of those have gone to a value of three. Now, take these cells here, and if an AFR is running, say, lean, well, let's just, let's say it's running lean, and it's 14 AFR and you wanna run a 12 AFR. That means that you would have to add fuel into those cells or you'd have to add time of injector pulse width. So what you do is you would select the cells that you want to manipulate, hold the shift button down, arrow to the right, arrow down, and what we would do is if we need to add fuel, we'll go to multiply and we'll add a percentage. Say we need to add 10% of fuel. We would go 1.10, execute, and now we would have 3.30 instead of 3. That is the way that we would add fuel into the map. If you wanted to add 20%, it would be 1.20. If it was 15%, it would be 1.15 for 15%. If it was 5%, it would be 1.05 for 5%, and so on and so forth. Hit execute and after and it would grab those cells and make the change. Now say that this 3.30 is rich and we needed to take away fuel. So we're running a 10 AFR and we want to run a 12.5 AFR. Again, select the cells you want to make the change to. Hold your shift button down, arrow to the right, arrow down. Now what you do is come up to your function keys and you would take away fuel. So 10%. Say we want to take away 10%, it would be 0 0.90. Execute that, and now you can see that we took away 10% from the 3.30. Now we're 2.97. If we wanted to take away 5%, it'd be 0 
If we wanted to take away 20%, 0 0.80. Okay, if it was 25%, it'd be 0.75, and so on and so forth. Once you have made your manipulation in your map, and you know what you that that's what you want to try and go and run, you'll go up here to File, Save Bin As, and you'll name it whatever you would like to name it. So let's just call this a Map Rev 2. Hit Save. Hit the red X to commit the changes to the bin. Yes. Go back in, and now you can see that the map has been changed. Now, when this map has been changed, what you need to do is you need to get it to the fuel controller. You do that by clicking on the USB icon, making sure that the fuel controller is connected to the computer. These cells will be lit up with color. Then you'll hit the Upload button. Click Upload, and you'll see down here at the bottom it's uploading. It should beep, and we'll say Upload Successful when it comes time when it's done. Now that fuel, that fuel map is loaded into our fuel controller. We can unplug it and we can go and run the snowmobile and find out if it works or not. If it does not work, go through the same cycle again. Make your adjustments until you get into the correct AFR. That is how you make a manipulated change on your map and save it and get it to the box. Um, there is one other item that you can do and that would be if you wanted to, a customer brought you a snowmobile and you wanted to get the map out of their box because you do not have their map, what you would do is you would open up a bin for the selected vehicle that you're running. And let's just say we want to go to um, test map. Go into driver pulse width and you would open that up to make sure you have a bin in there. Connect the box to the computer, download the map from the box, hit the red X, go back in, and now you'll be able to see that the this is 2.97 and you'll be able to see the differences in the map. Now go to File, save your bin as, and call it whatever you would like. So we'll just call this say Customer. Start map one. Hit save. And now you've saved that map. And you can see up here at the top, customer start map base one. Make your changes to the map. Keep saving it as a rev until it's, and get it to where the snowmobile runs properly. And you'll be good to go. That's how you make a change and download the, the map out of the fuel controller. I'm Bryce Kendrick. I'm with Force Turbos here in Utah. Our phone number is 801-807-8046. You can contact us there or you can contact us on the web at info at forceturbos.com and we can help you out with anything that you need. Um, we'll talk to you a little later and keep smiling.